guys, welcome to the next episode of Cash Machine Cars, episode three. Um, working on the Triumph Spitfire. So in today's episode, we're going to be moving it from where it is down into the workshop, and we're going to start um, taking the body off. Basically, removing everything that needs to come out in order for the body to come off, which is like the brake lines, um, the fuel lines, possibly the tank as well. I imagine um, the wiring loom to the engine and stuff. Um, probably have to take the dashboard out. Um, and I think that's about it. Alright, so as you can see, it's not there anymore. Um, got someone to help me a minute ago, we pushed it all the way down here. Um, didn't roll that easily, to be fair. The brakes are a bit stuck on. And it's now here. Um, just going to clean up the workshop a bit so we got enough space for it to go in. So the car's in. Clean up the workshop a bit, got the car in. Doesn't roll very easily. It's um the must have the brakes stuck on somewhere. It's very hard to push on your own. First thing you've got to do, I think, before we can take the body off, is obviously flip this bonnet up, pull that off, and we're gonna put it over there somewhere, hopefully, and then lift the car up, um, put it on four axle stands so we can get all underneath it and some of these bolts are gonna be so rusty that we're probably gonna to have to cut some of them off, I reckon. But we'll take out as many as we can, maybe use blowtorch or something. But yeah, step one is to um, take this bonnet off. So the bonnet's off, it's now over there. They're quite heavy, those bonnets, to be fair. And I think they'd make uh, fiberglass ones. I've seen a few Spitfires of fiberglass bonnets. I'd have to see how much they are, because that might be quite a good investment for it. But um, yeah, the next step is to remove the brake lines, the clutch lines, all the wiring, um, anything that really attaches this body to the engine and brakes and drivetrain and stuff. Just went to remove this pipe here and snap clean off. Alright, so that's all the um, wiring loom, uh, throttle cables, and pipes and stuff removed from the end, what connects the body to the engine. Um, next thing we're going to do is we're going to um, lift the car up, put it on four axle stands and start tackling the rest of the body. Alright, so that's the car up on axle stands. Um, let me just give you a quick run around and show you underneath the car. As you can see from the run around underneath the car, it is absolutely rotten. And the fact that I'm standing inside the car is not good. Things to remove in here whilst I'm standing in here. Um, 
is the handbrake. All that cable is going to have to come out. Um, the speedo cable is going to have to come out. The steering column is going to have to come out. Um, the fuel lines, and then we should be able to start taking all these sort of these bolts out here, and then uh, remove the body off of the chassis. So I just removed the fuel tank because there's two bolts under here which I think hold the chassis on. Um, can't know to remove them anyway. Pretty sure they do. Alright, so that's now all of the bolts off that attach the body to the chassis, I think, fingers crossed. Um, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put the car back down on the floor and then put an engine crane coming in from that side over here, strap it down to the body, down there, down there, and hopefully we can just lift it off and then we'll roll the engine, chassis and everything out the back and then we should be left with the tub in place. My only fear with the whole thing is that there is so little structure in this middle bit here now that if I have a strap on here and a strap down there that we might end up just folding the whole thing in half. So I'm going to keep the doors in place and shut, completely shut and I might run another strap down onto the middle half just to try and keep it together but I don't know. Let's just wing it, see how it goes. Alright, so this has to be one of the bodgiest things I've done in my life. Now I've got a strap coming from the ceiling because the front half is obviously way heavier than the back half because I've still got the dash and the windscreen and all of this crap in. Um, so I'm now counterbalancing the front with a strap from the roof so hopefully I can get it up evenly. So I think we are high enough now. I think we are higher than the engine. This is so dodgy. Alright, so now we've got enough clearance, we have to roll this back. Obviously the legs of the um, engine crane are going to be in the way. So I'm hoping that I can wheel it back to around here, jack it up a bit, take the wheel off, and then on the jack hopefully roll it over it enough to clear these legs. I mean, if I can't do that then I'm pretty screwed. So we've done it. I mean, here's the body floating 
on an engine crane and from the roof. So I'm going to buy a, um, a rollover jig in the next couple of days. Um, I was thinking about making one, but you can buy one second hand for like 150 quid. So. so we're going to put that down onto a rollover jig in the middle here, and then we're going to be able to spin it around and work on the floor pans underneath. I'm actually pretty surprised that that works, to be fair. So here's the chassis and the engine and everything. Remarkably, I can't actually see any rot on the chassis anywhere. It actually looks really good. I don't know if it's all this oil that leaked over it that's helped preserve it or something, but yeah, we're going to um, stick a cover over this for now, and we're going to probably put it over there somewhere. Um, and we'll get to work on this once we've finished this. for this video so we got the body off of the chassis it's all here behind me I'm just gonna wheel the chassis down there and drop the body down for now in the next video um, we're gonna put the body onto the rollover jig and flip it over and see what sort of damage we're dealing with we already know it's pretty bad um, so of course I have had the thought of can I just get a less rusty body and sort of reshell this one because we know that the engine and the chassis is good um, I haven't actually seen one come up for sale, and I know I can fix that one. It's just going to be, it's going to be quite a lot of work. But let me know your thoughts. If you, anyone has any um, suggestions, uh, if they know where you can get a body, or they think that it's worth saving this one, I know a lot of people would probably think that this is not worth saving. But I reckon it can be done. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Um, if you're liking this video and you're liking this project, please subscribe. Um, I'm always working on other old things and stuff like that, and I'll be filming it along the way. But Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.